Greetings everyone, this is Miss QT Style and in this video it's going to be a real talk video, um, a vlog about having diabetes. Now I do have type 2 diabetes and I've been having it since 1997. Um, diabetes is when your body does not produce enough insulin to um, eat up the sugars in your body, so to speak. So um, that's diabetes. I have type 2 diabetes. Um, and I just wanted to take you guys through the day in the life of having diabetes. Now, um, like today, I was feeling pretty good for today. Um, I made a few videos. And um, some of you may, seen, may have just seen my um, dancing video. Okay, and I was feeling good. But then all of a sudden, I started feeling bad. So that's the thing about diabetes. You can feel good one minute and the next minute you're feeling sick. You know, I absolutely hate, I hate having diabetes. Um, it wasn't something I asked for. You know, it was hereditary. Um, a lot of people think diabetes is uh, when you eat a lot of sugar or sweets. That's not what diabetes is because I don't even eat a lot of uh, candy or um, sweets. Um, I do eat however a lot of starches and that's um, part of diabetes or I'm not going to say can cause it <coughs> excuse me but it can um, elevate your sugars uh, I do eat a lot of starch like smothered potatoes and stuff like that um, I found out I had diabetes in 97 when I was um, drinking a lot of soda back to back I mean cracking that can open back to back drinking sodas and then I was like feeling weak and shaky a lot. So I finally went to the doctor, you know, and they ran tests and I had diabetes. You know, and at first I didn't take it serious at all. I didn't even follow uh, my doctor's orders or uh, regimen or I didn't even take the pills back in uh, 97. You know, but as I got older and stuff, I um, started, you know, listening to the doctor and trying to take my medicines. But I, to be quite honest with you, sometimes I just, I just feel like giving up not on life but giving up even caring about the diabetes you know what i'm saying I, sometimes i just be like f it you know but then i get back into my mode of trying to take care of myself so you know i'm making this video because i really want to um beat this this diabetes you know i have to really watch what i eat i have to exercise which i don't but i need to exercise more i mean at work i usually go walk for um um, my two 10 minute breaks, but I don't think that's enough. I need to do more. Um, so anyway, I am on these pills, these big old fat pills. And this is one part that I hate. I hate taking things. I'm not good with taking pills. Look at it. It's a big, big pill. I take two of these twice a day and this is for my diabetes. And it's just so hard to swallow. Actually, I have it right here because I was eating some grapes and that's another thing um, but anyway I was going to take my pills okay but with diabetes high blood pressure goes hand in hand with it they're like best buddies nine times out of ten if you have diabetes you're going to have a bout with high blood pressure and I have that also but my pressure is not always elevated sometimes I don't even have to take the pills it's only when I'm stressed and worried and lately I've been stressed and worried so my high blood pressure is up. So I take one pill a day or sometimes my doctor have me on a half a pill. Sometimes I don't have to take them at all. But the diabetes, I do. Now at one time I was on insulin. Something I thought I would never be able to do was give myself the shots. But I find that it was very easy. It didn't hurt at all. And um, at some point I think I would rather the shots than these pills because these pills is really I don't know, they're just too big, too hard to swallow, and they make me nauseated a little bit, but I have to take them. Um, as far as my diet, y'all, I really want to start doing better with my diet. Like, my doctor told me that even, like, grapes, i just been eating grapes. Natural sweetness, I cannot. I cannot eat. I'm not supposed to eat apples. If I eat an apple, it has to be a grainy apple. But I cannot eat uh, even natural um, fruits. So this is where I get aggravated sometimes because I'm like, damn, what can I eat? Do I starve myself to death? I mean, nothing is good for me. I have to really look at containers and look and see how much sugar, this, that, and the other. 
So that's what frustrates me. But lately, I've been, uh, I do like salads, but I can't eat salads all the time. But um, I've been getting this bag of lettuce. And I also got a head of lettuce. And I've been eating with tomatoes, avocados, and I put a little tuna on it. But I have to watch tuna because remember, high blood pressure goes with diabetes. So I have to look on the back of here and see how much sodium. This has 140 so, uh, milligrams of soda. I mean, sodium. So it's just so hard and frustrating. And sometimes I just, I, um, I cry because I'm angry. I'm angry that I have this disease. And because I, I feel like it, it, it's um, stopping me from doing a lot of things. In life. Like, I, you know, I can't get excited too much. That's probably why I started feeling bad because I was in here dancing. And um, then I started feeling bad. But anyway, you know, people may look at me. Yeah, I look healthy, you know, and everything. But I do have diabetes. So um, I lost my train of thought. But. This is my um my AccuCheck that I'm supposed to check myself all day every day, and I don't. I might check myself once or twice a day. I'm supposed to do it before breakfast, after breakfast, before lunch, after lunch. You know, but that's a little too much to be sticking myself. And I usually use my um I don't want to point the middle finger, but I use my little finger to test because it's the thickest. But this machine is I can check it my um sugar right here also, but I can't seem to get a good stick right there. So we have to deal with that as a diabetic. And diabetics have to watch their um, eyesight. I do get my eye exam. Actually, I think it's time again. And um, so far, my diabetes is not messing with my eyes. I mean, you may see a little, but it's not a lot. He's, uh, when he did the last eye exam, I saw a little speck. You know how they take the picture of your eyes? It was a little bitty tiny speck. And he was saying, years down the line, I may have issues with my eyes because of my diabetes. Okay. I hope not, but so far it's not messing with it. Um, it's not messing with my kid kidneys. I'm nowhere near dialysis or anything like that. I've never been hospitalized for it, but if I don't take care of myself and watch myself, I will be hospitalized for it. So I'm doing this video to say that I am going to really, really, really try to do better and eat and exercise and try to be um, less stressed and worried about things that I cannot fix. Um, but I just wanted to say diabetes is it's not a joke at all. Um, it's a serious disease. You know what? It's just to me, it's just as bad as cancer. It, it may not take me take you out as fast as cancer, but if you don't watch yourself, you can lose limbs. You can um, you have more of a, a chance of heart attack, more at a risk for heart attack, and um. The thing I hate the most about diabetes is that I'm tired sometimes for no reason at all. I just feel drained and gloomy. And there's times that it looks, I look like that in my face. My eyes get kind of red and my face it just looks so like just sick. And I hate that look. And when that happens, I'll get up, you know, and dress up and put on makeup and try to feel better. But in the inside, I just really don't feel good at all, you know, um, and unless you have diabetes, you wouldn't understand um, how a diabetic can be active one minute, and then the next minute I'm just like, you know, I'm drowsy. I'm just, I'm looking like I'm mad, but I'm not mad. I'm, I just be drained. And that's a, a people mistake that a lot. Um, diabetics are moody as well. And I'm very, very moody because I'm agitated and aggravated with this damn disease, diabetes. Okay, so I just wanted to come and do that real talk video and anybody who's, who may be watching who have diabetes, if you please come share your stories. Um, you can do a video response to this video or you can make a comment and, you know, let's group together and just try to, um, I guess, support each other and help each other through um, diabetes, whether you have type 2 or type 1 diabetes.
And I'm sorry, I almost forgot. Um, I had the opportunity of being a part of a, a video, viral, a viral video about diabetes. And if I can find the link, I will show you, uh, I will put it here somehow. Um, you know how you're sitting in the doctor's office and you see videos of, of people talking about um, different diseases or things that they have? That's what I was in. And um, it was a great opportunity. Um, and it was a bunch of us who had diabetes. Um, talking about it. So like I said, if I can find the link, because it's in my email, my old email, and I have so many emails, I will put it um, somewhere here. I'll put the information either at the bottom of the video, or if not, if I can't find it, I'll just put it on another video. But hopefully I find it and I can attach it or at least send you the link to um, so you can see it. Okay, thank you.